Okay, now it's recording, so. I don't know if I know it wasn't. I really don't want to have to re record this. Okay. So, directly to the right of the Teleop cargo, we have three special aspects there's the tip, uh, brick tip break, there's the play defense, and defend it against. So, starting on the brick tip break, that is anything that happens to the robot. Anything that happens to the robot that will cause it to, to stop functioning. If the robot just altogether disconnects from the controller, that's, that's a brick, brick. If a part of the bumper comes off and it can't drive around anymore, that's a brick. Um, then defense. If it plays defense, that means that it makes any move to hinder an opponent's robot's prog progress in scoring or any ambitions. Then there's defend it against flip side where that robot is has def defense plate against it. Then we have the end game climb. Uh, you ha we have low, mid, high, traversal, and attempted. So you just select which one is the highest that it reached. If it didn't attempt, just hit no. If it fell, hit just say yes, it attempted, but it fell. And also make sure to note the start and end times. And then there is the note section. Now, this isn't strictly necessary, but it can be very useful in choosing our alliances. We don't have anything on this scouting sheet to say how confident a driver is or how competent the bot will be. So say we have a robot that can shoot like a ton of balls really consistently into the upper hub, right? But if that robot is very top heavy, that means that it will be very susceptible for, to defense. The moment it gets hit, it's gonna wobble back and forth and it overshoots. So stuff like that, we need a lot of for the competitions. So any questions so far? Nothing, nothing at all? What? Okay. Carly, do you get into why we do this? Um, yeah, so... Okay. If you do, that's totally, I was just asking. Well, I'll just go over again. The re main reason we do this, this is our match scouting. And we do this so that we can gather data over the course of a competition, so that we can know <laughs> how to select and who to select for, um, for our alliances. At, at the end of the, the first qualification matches, there's a thing called alliance selection where um, teams go um, up on stage and there we choose who can work best with us and work best against the other teams. So having data on each individual team is crucial to that. Any questions on that? So I, I remember for uh, Mariucci, the map, on the sheet was mixed up as that. Is that the case for uh, what the match we're going to see as well? Um, chances are yes, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue because we're gonna we're g you're gonna write down which alliance you're on and why is this? So just swap the colors. In that case. Yeah. There we go. Anyone else? No? Okay, perfect. So now let's split into groups. I want you guys to um, to go over this sample match. Um, can my five uh, leaders stand up, please? Perfect. So, Albert? One? What? Zach. Am I? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, can you guys hold up your numbers up here? Behind you. You got this. Um, he already started it. Okay. Cool. Slime. Take it on. All right. Everyone, listen up to Riley, guys. Thank you, Jared. So, are there any questions about the mask that you just saw? Any questions or any comments that you have about your your bot or the drivers? Nothing? Cool. Now I can move on to the match analysis. So I'm going to show you part of the data entry that we have. 
So, so these sheets that, that you all filled out, this all goes directly into this. Looks like a hot mess because it is. <laughs> so for every match, we have six people, um, six people up in the stands who are watching and tracking everything that you just saw. They're tracking if they went out of the tarmac, how many balls they shot in upper or lower, balls missed, picked up, all that. And that is all put in by our data enters into this. Calculated over here, ball accuracy, whatnot. And this goes on for pretty much every match in the entire competition. God damn, that's a lot of rows. Yes, it is. Which is why we have people working in shifts. So, once it comes time for the actual competition, um, I will send out a sign up genius link to whoever's going, or just out in general, and um, you all will be able to sign up for shifts. Um, there's the data enters, those are the people who are actually entering all that, all this raw data into the sheet. We have the scouters, those will be the people who will, um, who will be writing down the sheets. We have the match recorders, those people will be recording um, each match on video using a camera. And the alternates, those are people who can swap in and out if someone needs to like go to the restroom or get food or something like that. So every person who goes to the competition will be required to take on at least two shifts. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you, um, if you are interested in, um, in taking, taking on more shifts or getting further into the analysis, um, you can sign up for more than two, obviously. And um, yeah, I think that's all I have. Any questions about the sheet? And then with that sheet, right, um, you'll notice that the top part says like alliance, team member, match member, right? Uh, the six captains the night before will spend an hour and a half a little about three, so don't worry about that part. Just alleviate your fears about that. You'll you'll get you'll learn about that, but we'll take your account for free. Anything else, Jenny? Did I miss anything? No, you did really good. Perfect. Um, if there are no final questions, then I think I am done for tonight.